Lights go out. Time to run with your brung. Quick run down into the one-two complex. It usually gets a little hairy down here. See some of the Toro Rosas trying to dive to the outside. There's contact there in the back. As you take a look at McCardell, he starts to pull off. It looks like that's Cameron Weston Edwards. And Joshua Dangle made contact through the 1-2 complex. Oh, no! Edwards has to cut through the grass. That's going to cost him some time. Try to keep up with the action here. Looks like one of the, uh, the other Renault there, Zexer, he looks like he's got a problem. And McCardell, that was McCardell that lost a lot of time. Uh-oh, we've got a caution in Sector 2. Looks like one of the salvers in the back there had a problem. Oh, and it was one of the hosses that had gone off. Louis Blackman. So a lot going on here on the opening lap. Ethan Croft dropping back in the field now. Oh, and it looks like we've got a caution there, Sector 3. That's one of the tour, uh, four Sydneys. It looked like that was Callum the Boss trying to make a dive bomb move there through Champions Wall Complex. Took out one of the four Sydneys. He's going to try and make his way around Boxhorn and the McLaren. So a lot of action here in the opening couple of laps. Rotors are glowing. McCardo closed the gap now. He's got a good run coming out of the hairpin. He's going to be in DRS range. You can see Dangle take a more defensive line. He's going to try and make McCardo go the long way around on the outside. This is going to be tight, folks. Oh! And McCardell makes it stick. Power move on the outside through the chicane. And Dangle lost a lot of speed. Looks like he's going to give up another spot to Sawyer. As they head down into turn one. There's a caution in sector three. Looks like that might be Guy Hamilton. Looks like he might have run into a problem. And, oh, yeah, that's up against Champion's Wall. Broken left front suspension and everything. So now this is currently your closest battle. Oh, Box Horn almost got rear-ended by Callum there. You see a couple of guys starting to head into the pits now. Working lap 10 of 35. Some of these... Ultra softs are going to be given up. You see some of the other guys on the super softs. And Callum drops that left. Oh, big curb hop there through the champion's wall complex. You know, Callum's got the DRS slot open as they run down into turn one. Oh, and he dive bobs Boxhorn, and he takes the position. Nice pass. And you see one of the Ferraris. That's going to be Rob Sawyer coming back out onto the track from his tire changeover. So Sawyer pitted, he comes out 7th place, headed into the pits. That's going to put Jimmy McCardell into 2nd, and you see Boxhorn's having a problem now. Went in a little too deep. Gave up a position to Beastie Kids in the Haas. That's Blackman. This is going to be tight going down in here. you got four cars trying to fit into one lane. Oh, and the Haas gets hit. Pushed outside a little bit. See, Edwards gets a three-second penalty there. He's somewhere else on the track, but that's for quarter cutting. Boxhorn down to the inside of Callum. He's trying to take the position back. Oh, they bang wheels a little bit. And here comes the Force India trying to work. It's a three-way battle now. So they run three wide. And now Blackman gets a penalty for quarter cutting. So Boxhorn out in front of this battle. This is for the eighth position, folks. This... Oh, and you see the Force Indian in the back go around Callum, and he takes the position from Callum. That's Lewis Bish now. He is going to start working on Boxhorn. 
Blackman all over the back of him. And Callum in the Williams now. He looks like he's under pressure from Ethan Croft. Oh, and Croft's going to die and bomb him on the inside. Oh, and they both push wide. Callum's still there, though. through the series of pit stops. Brandon Glover just set the fastest lap of the Mercedes as we continue to watch this battle for 11th. And you can see up front there a little bit. You have Blackman trying to run around the outside of Boxhorn. Boxhorn goes in deep. They touch wheels. They bang over the curbs. Boxhorn's going to hang on to that position for now. There's a caution in sector two. Look back up at Blackman. And he is in the Haas fighting with the other force idea. That's Lewis Bish. This is the battle for eighth. You see Blackman dives down to the inside. Oh, and they bang! Oh, and they both. Oh, no, and there's a broken right rear suspension. Done for the day. Oh, and the force India is off bold move and it looks like he might have some issues with the car as well caution sector three blackman done for the day pancake the right rear against champions wall he made contact with bish here i'm sure that will probably be investigated after the race unfortunate turn of events for blackman Take a look back up front now. This is Brandon Glover, your leader in the Mercedes. Oh, and it looks like Bish is going to be out of the race as well. Possible suspension damage done to him. His car pulls off. So we start in the fourth. You see Boxhorn picks up another three-second time penalty. Here they go through the champion's wall complex. Good run out of that complex for... McCardell, he's finally going to work his way back to the lead after starting on pole and falling back. But Edwards doesn't want to give up the position that easily. Pushes him way outside. Glover is going to go around the outside of turn two to try and get a run down into the next series of corners. And Glover is on the outside, makes it stick, and Brandon Glover has taken him in the second place position, and now he's going to be in hot pursuit of Cameron West and Edwards. We've got a battle for the lead here is Glover and Edwards touch heading into the air pin. Edwards tries to push Glover out wide. Glover's going to have the better line heading into the complex at the end of the straight. And this is going to be very dangerous. You just heard from Blackman who, oh, and they touch going into the corner and Glover's into the wall. So we just heard from Blackman his series of what happened. And now Glover has experienced a very similar Crash. As Jimmy McCardell is still running third. But positions one, two, and three are only covered by four tenths of a second. Oh, and Edwards cuts the grass. And he's going to get a three second time penalty. So we watch this three way battle. Felix has the lead for just a second, pushes Edwards wide. And now McCardell's taking over the second place position almost. Ah, oh, looks back and forth, blow for blow. You can't race like this for very long. It'll end in tragedy. Edwards off the course again. He gives the position up to Negwar and refuses to give the position up to his teammate McCardell. McCardell is on the softs. Edwards on the super softs. McCardell is going to be in DRS range heading down the backstretch to Champions Wall Complex. So now the battle for first has become a battle for second. Brandon Glover has pitted and gotten back out on track. He is in sixth position. He is 13 seconds behind Rob Sawyer in fifth. So Felix is still under the threat of Cameron Weston Edwards. 
six laps to go in this inaugural round of the IRL season number five, F1 2017 on the PS4 platform. You see the battle here, you can throw a blanket over the top three cars. We continue to watch Felix, your leader. Big lockup heading into that corner. And looks like we've got a caution in Sector 3. That's Ethan Croft. Oh, and he's crashed at the Wall of Champions as well. Right front is destroyed. So Ethan Croft in the McLaren is done for the day. You see his teammate there, Boxhorn, going by. We take a look back at the battle. They're going to drive right by this. And Croft. Big lock up into the hairpin. Cuts it in tight. It's a little bit better run coming out, it looks like. He's going to be in DRS range. Edwards is going to take the more defensive line. He's going to make McCardell go the long way around. He breaks out of the stream. Oh, good run. He gets a crossover move coming out of the champion's wall complex. McCardell's going to take over the second place position. So there were no swap places, and we'll see if McCardell now can try and make a run at Negwar in the closing laps of this race. So we continue to watch Sandre try to make a run at Brandon Glover. Down on the hairpin, Sandre picks up a couple car lengths on him, gets a good run out of the corner. DRS slot open. Let's we'll see what kind of run he can make down through Champions Wall Complex and then down into turn one. Glover does take a defensive line this time. Oh, pushes him a little wide. Oh, no, and oh! Sandre into the wall just a little bit. Not hard enough to break the suspension, but definitely cost him some time. Through the Champions Complex, Sawyer's got the slot open. He's going to make a run down into turn one. Can he get around Dangle? Oh, they touch. Inside, outside. Sawyer puts the power down. Oh, it looks like there might have been a little bit of contact with the right rear tire to the left front part of the wing of Dangle's car. Sawyer's going to get the position. In the final lap here. Dangle's not done with him, though. Dang oh, they hit. They collide. They both spun. Unbelievable. Sawyer backing it up, and there goes one of the Sahara Force Indias. Oh, and they're still banging wheels. Oh, no, and around goes. We take a look at Sawyer. Oh, my goodness. That is definitely going to be investigated at the end of this race. That is very aggressive driving. Dangle is off to the races. We are going to see. It looks like uh, he's going to give the position back. So he's going to let Sawyer go through, try and save face for what happened. But uh, I think Dangle knows that there was an issue there. So on the last lap, a lot of the other cars have finished now. You see the finishing order at the top left here. Felix Negwar has won the race, followed by Cameron West and Edwards. Uh, he managed to take over second place. There you have it. That's a, an amazing run there at the end uh, by Brandon Glover. I wish I would have caught how he got third place, but uh, he was many seconds behind from just second to the last lap. So Felix Negoire wins the inaugural round here at Gilles Villeneuve in Canada. See Cameron Weston Edwards there, second spot.